Today we're going to learn how to make equivalent fractions using a number line. Remember, equivalent fractions are fractions that are equal or the same as other fractions. Let's look at 6 eighths. I'm going to start by putting 6 eighths on its own number line. I know that 6 eighths is a fraction between 0 and 1, so 0 and 1 are my endpoints. Now I'm going to divide my number line into eight equal parts. First I went divided in half, then I'm dividing into fourths, and now if I cut these in half again, I'll get eight almost equal parts. So now I have eight parts on my number line. It's time to label them. This is zero eighths right where there's zero. This is one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths, and eight eighths. So I'm going to put my point at six eighths. So I'm looking at for a fraction that goes to the same point on the number line. Hmm, well if I look at this number line, I see eight equal parts, and I know eight is divisible by two, so what if I were to make some bigger pieces and combine two parts at a time? Let's look at that on its own number line. So I have to draw my a new number line that's almost exactly the same length and make four equal parts now because I see that there's one, two, three, four circles. So one, two, three, and now I have four parts. One, two, three, four parts. So now let me label this zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And now if I go from my point at six eighths all the way down, I land at three fourths. Hmm. So six eighths and three fourths are equivalent fractions because they end up at the same point on the number line. Well, if I just made my parts bigger, could I make the original part smaller? Let's look at six eighths again. So I'm going to redraw six eighths on a number line. And I know six eighths was here. Six eighths. Okay. So now let's take a look and see if I could try to make my parts smaller. Like if I could combine two parts before to make them bigger, could I cut them in half and make two smaller parts at every part? Let's see what happens then. Oh wait, let's see how many parts I have now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Wow, I, so now I have 16 So let me label that at 0 16 And I'm going to label all the way up through my number line. 4 16, 5 16, 6 16, 7. So let's look at 6 eighths again, and I see it's all 16. They're at the same point. So we can say 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 fourths and also equivalent to 12 16. 